They say that they don't believe in bullying, but I found that the best definition of bullying is that bullying has to do with an imbalance of power. to a new video. As I've said in previous videos, if you see this purple shirt a lot, it's because I don't always feel up to filming, and so when I feel up to filming, I really want to take advantage of that. So today, the main topic of discussion is actually a new series that I'm going to be working on. I've been working on it for a while. Also, if you see me glancing over this way, it's because I actually have notes for this video, because I'm someone that if I have notes, I will just completely stumble over my notes. So I'm going to be looking over the notes. It's not scripted, but I do have things written down. So with that long introduction out of the way, I know that you are ready to get to the topic of this video, which you saw in the title and in the thumbnail. And that is a deep dive into r slash illness fakers. This is going to be the first in a very long series. I don't quite know how long it's going to be, and I'm going to kind of explain why I'm doing this. I am someone that I love to research, and I stumbled across the r slash illness fakers a long time ago, and I have bipolar disorder, I haven't made a video on it yet, and people with bipolar disorder like to do things that cause themselves hurt, whether physically or emotionally. For me, I do it emotionally. So I would read over the Reddit because I was in a very dark state over the summer. I was very depressed. I was hurting more because I got worse after Mayo Clinic. You can see that video on my channel. And so I was diving into this really toxic culture because for me that was a way of kind of like taking out the anger that I had on myself. And I will admit that what I did was very wrong. And I've worked, been working this over with my counselor. And I thought that it would be a good idea to kind of share this project that I'm working on. I'm actually working on a whole long research product. And I want to share some of it with you. And when I finish the product, I'm going to try to find a way to upload it somewhere so that all of you guys can read it. So you're probably asking if you don't already know, what is r slash illness fakers? r slash illness fakers is essentially a subreddit to bully chronic illness influencers that have a certain number of subscribers or followers. I believe their count is around a thousand. So if you have more than a thousand, people on a public social media, then you're fair game to be bullied. And on their rules, rules, they say that they don't believe in bullying, but I found that the best definition of bullying is that bullying has to do with an imbalance of power. And I know you're thinking, Leia, how is somebody that is a chronic illness influencer having less power than this subreddit? The answer is that this subreddit has about 70,000 members and at any given time, there's around 600 online. So for me, the reason why they have more power is because you can very easily Google illness fakers or even, I think that I found this up by Googling Chronically Jackie, which by the way, I love Jackie and I, I absolutely love her. That's why I accidentally stumbled on the subreddit. It's a long story. But, you know, they make fun of all of these people. That's what they do. And they say they're not bullying. But to me, when you're specifically going after people, making jokes about them, calling them names, you know, to me that is bullying. That is the definition of cyberbullying. You know, they're like, oh, well, we're not doing it directly to the person. Well, you know that these people read it. 
because they do, they, they reference it in their post. They talk about how forked up everything that's going on is. So how can you say that it's not bullying when it's affecting the way that these people think and feel? If you look at some of the people that they've had on the subreddit that it's okay to bully, those people have quit. They have stopped posting on their social media because they don't want to be bullied anymore. That's why it's bullying. I'm going to be making a lot of videos on this subject. I don't know how many I'm going to be making. It's going to kind of go along with my research. So right now, I have quite a bit of research done on one or two topics. I don't know, I might make some more videos today, I might make them when I'm feeling better, but I think this is going to be a really good series because I've Googled or YouTubed or just looked for anyone calling these people out and the only thing that I can find is people supporting them and to me that's really sad. I was even browsing the other day and they said that anybody with a social media where they just talk about their illnesses is automatically faking. You know, I think you guys know I created this channel as an outlet for myself, as an outlet to talk about my struggles, to talk about what it's like to live with these. And they say, oh, you don't need to spread awareness. And I'm like, I do think that there's a need to spread awareness. And the awareness is that everybody's journey is different. My journey is very different than what I've seen other people's journey. And it's the same with others. Even two people with the exact same conditions have different lives. Even people with ehlers Stanlos and mast cell and GP, all of those people, they each have different lives. They have different treatments. They have different things that work for them. The thing is, everybody has a different experience in their life. And I think that that's what's able to bring people together. And yeah, I'm sure that there are some people that are just following to get inspiration. And I don't condone that at all. But I do know that if I hadn't found Chronically Jackie, I wouldn't be diagnosed with hypermobility spectrum disorder. I wouldn't be on a journey to get diagnosed with these seven, like, I want to call them seven issues to figure out why all these things are going on. I wouldn't have any of that if not for finding Chronically Jackie, so it, it does make a difference. And that's why I want to dive into the subreddit. I want people to understand what's going on, the level of bullying, the way they treat these people, because my hope is that maybe someone Googles this subreddit and they're able to find my videos and really realize how messed up this is. I don't see anybody talking about it. They just like to ignore it. And I understand why the people who are bu being bullied want to just forget about it, don't want to attract people over there. But I feel like the general public needs to understand what's going on. I feel that there are probably people with chronic illnesses who might be inclined to create a chronic illness YouTube channel, a chronic illness Instagram, but they aren't doing it because they're scared. Because they know that if they reach too many people that they're going to be bullied. And that's not fair. We are just trying to share our experiences. I'm trying to share what it's like to live with the conditions that I have. That's what everybody is trying to do. Nobody should be rejected or subjected to this bullying just because they have conditions, just because they can't remember or be able to string things together. Heck, me, someone with autism, someone who has had a special interest of medicine for like as long as I can remember, I literally don't remember a time where I did not have a fascination with medicine, even I get things wrong. You know, how can you expect people who are just trying to get through life, who are just trying to learn all they can about their disorders, their diseases, while also trying to live with them? Some of these diseases are very stressful, very difficult to live with. So how can we expect people to be absolutely perfect, to describe everything perfect? For example, one of the people that they made fun of who has MCAS, which is mast cell activation syndrome, they told 
They said, oh, well, she said she's allergic to everything. Actually, it's about the level of histamine. Therefore, she's lying. No, that's a way of describing it so that people understand. I, and maybe this is me talking down on people, but I don't know that your average person understands what histamines are or understands that levels of histamine can fluctuate. They know that their Benadryl that they take when they have allergies is an antihistamine, but what is histamine? What does it do to your body? What can it do when it's out of whack? Most people don't understand, and it's a lot to try to explain. Even chronically Jackie, who's like myself, who very clearly has an autistic interest in health, even she gets things wrong sometimes. I know that I'm going to get things wrong, and I'm going to take down videos and remake them so that I'm more correct. That's just a part of life, and it's really sad to be that people are being bullied because they mess up in the way they describe something. So I really hope through this series I can bring awareness of what's going on and why these people are being bullied. I don't know that there's anything that we can do. People have reported the subreddit and because they have rules about not bullying, they get to stay up. There's no explanation, nothing from Reddit to realize that this is bullying. This is picking on these people because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how many influencers, how many subscribers these people have. When you have people that are trying to put down these people and say that they are lying just because they have an illness, just because they want to spread awareness, or even like me, I just want to follow my journey. I want to have videos that someday if someone asks me a question, I can send them a video. Just because people want to, you know, have a creative outlet, therefore they're faking. Alright guys, take care and I'll see you in the next video.